We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Brady now on first down. It's complete to Fuller. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it, no one got it. And on second and 10 now. By 20, by 20, by 20. Ready to throw on second down. They set up the screen to Lynch. Down the numbers. There he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Marshawn Lynch, 70 yards. And the Browns have taken the early lead. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. Play fake here on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it's second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Second and 10, Newton again. Taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Javon Curse in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Third and long. It's Newton. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the Hall of Famer Kevin Green. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they have the football that will take over at the 24-yard line. 
And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. And they'll run it for the first time with Ricky Williams. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. On the tackle that time, it's Trey Waynes. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. On second down, here's Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And this is picked up by the Browns. And it won't count for six. He's brought down, but inside the five. First and goal at the four-yard line. And here are the Browns now as the offense comes back out onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because... Oh. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Marshawn Lynch with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Browns add six to their lead. And Charles, the second time today that he has hit pay dirt. And once you score the first one, there is that natural tendency and there's also that, that eagerness to get back there again. Oh, he smells it. This guy smelled the end zone, and twice he's gotten there. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> He's got his tail back, Ricky Williams. Down the numbers, there he goes. Touchdown, Carolina. Ricky Williams, 76 yards. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here, he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And some good coverage there by the kick team as they'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Aaron Donald. Coming up the middle, gets him there for a loss of about nine. some open field here and they're able to bring him down at the 20 12 yards is the pick up there and that'll make it third down in today's nfl when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense you're really going to go to your speed packages you're going to get smaller lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass so they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys. And that's exactly what happened on that play. It was tough on them. And now, instead of being in third and very long, they ended up setting themselves up in third and manageable. They've got a chance at a first down. A big play there on the catch and run. 38 yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Brady now on first down. 
He's going to go for a big play downfield. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, torn back across his body. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score board watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. He's got a man complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Now a pitch out to Williams. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. I thought guys that were over 30 weren't supposed to run the football this well in the National Football League. How about that veteran leadership? A big-time run combined with some nice blocking by his offensive line, showing that the ins and outs of being a veteran still has his place in this league. His odometer is not totally turned over yet. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. He cuts out left sideline. A little run now. And he will take it across for Panthers touchdown. Ricky Williams with his second touchdown. Here in this first half. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. Play 20! Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. On second down, here's Brady. It's complete to Fuller. He displayed a nice little hurdle there before he got taken down after. It's a gain of six on the play, and they're going to face a third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. 
And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll go as a gain of 12, and the Panthers are going to get a first down. Again, it's Williams. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Back to the booth right after this. So we've got a second and five. They fake the give. Newton. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina.